Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well we're off this morning to go check those traps that we uh, left out there. Um, I plan on leaving them out there for two days, but I ended up leaving them out there for three days because I couldn't get to them yesterday. So I got a Cheyenne with me and Summer and we're going to go out here and see how we did and hopefully we'll get enough crabs that we can do a catch and cook. That is the plan to do a catch and cook crab video. And then we're going to reset them, and I'll come back out and uh, do another video on that pull and the reset. So wish us luck, guys, and we'll see you out there on the water. guys well, we're coming in here a little channel that I did pretty good at last week I got my first two traps right here and I got the rest of them out in the channel there but hopefully we'll have something and I got some more bait so we can rebait them too so let's see what happens right, this one hopefully being out one extra day won't cause them to oh there's one in there there's one all right that's a nice size crab too holy cow all right Ronnie so summer take the bucket out just take the bucket out of there you forgot you. yeah I forgot my you move over there honey all right guys well, there's one decent crab I forgot my uh, tongs, so this is going to be interesting. So, all right. All right, guys, coming up to my next trap. Could have sworn I had it right here, though. Could have sworn I put it right there. But we'll see. something moving in there uh oh look at the crabs in this one guys holy cow look at all those crabs got one two three four five six and a big old catfish I'm gonna put this right back because this trap's been doing good here hey watch out girls that's a nice little haul right there nice little haul it's a big old catfish these are nice looking crabs, y'all. Alright. Alright. There's something shaking and baking right here. Come on. Get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Come on, just fall out. Give me a hard time. Man. There it goes. Holy moly. Alright, I'm gonna rebait this one. I'm gonna put it right back in the same spot. Alright guys, I got my first trap here in the channel. Let's see how this one did. This was in that really deep hole, it's like 14 foot. So curious to see what's in there. Let's see one, two, three nice crabs. So there's nine. So we got one better than we did last time. All right, watch out, girls. All right, really cool. Ooh. 
These are nice looking crabs too. I can't complain about these. Nice looking crabs. All right, come on. There he is. Awesome. All right, let me get this rebated and put back out. All right. See what's in this one. There's one. Two crabs in this one and a big old catfish. Awesome. All righty. So that's nine, ten, that's 11 crabs, almost a dozen guys. I think I probably would have had more if I'd have checked them yesterday. So I'm pretty sure some of them got out. Come on, get out, crab. There it goes. Crabs are bad ones. All right. There you go, guys. Here's what we ended up with. We ended up with 11 really nice looking blue crabs. That one right there is a stud. All right, we're going to get these put in a bucket, get them cooled down, and I'll show you guys how to clean some. All right, guys, we're going to get us some crabs, put them in the bucket here. And look at that. Nice one right there, guys. All right. So one. Two. Oh, we got them all fired right now. Two. This one's missing some claws. We are all pissed off. Three. Four. We're gonna get the rest of these. We get the rest of these in here, then we'll get them iced down. Alright guys. We ended up having 12. I thought we had 11, but we had actually had 12. So now I'm gonna ice them down real good. I'll let them sit in here for about five, ten minutes, let them get nice and cool. It'll be a lot easier to handle. That way I can handle them and clean them and I won't get bit. So be back a little bit, guys. All right, guys. Let's see if a couple of them are uh, cold and not moving. Like this one. Let's see how this one's doing. Still moving a little bit, but I should be able to clean them real quick. So, so basically what you do is take their leg. Get here where their carapace is. Oh, he's waking up. All right, put him back in there. Do this one real quick. So put this in the carapace real quick. And you just flip them over, pop this up, grab the horn. Just like that. Pop it off. Just like that. Clean all that off. Clean all this off. Come over here and just rinse all this stuff out. And there you go, guys. Some nice, clean blue crab. All right, guys, we've got another one. Take the leg, stick under here, pop it off, and grab your hand on the leg right here. Grab this horn. So leg about like that. Pop it off. Just like that. Take all this stuff off. All these gills. Rinse all this stuff out. There you go guys. It's a nice clean blue crab. Alright guys, here's my 12 blue crabs. All clean. And ready to cook. I'm not 100 percent sure how I'm gonna do them yet. I may do some fried blue crabs or I may do some barbecue crabs. One of the two. Yep, that's my catch for the day, guys. Not too bad. Alright guys, well, we're in the kitchen. We got some blue crabs here. 
This is going to be our first little layer. But in this bowl here, we're going to mix some ingredients because we're going to make barbecue baked crabs today. So basically you need a stick of butter. Put that in the bowl there. And you're going to need some beer. I, this happens to be the Secchi's. It's what I have in the house, but you can use any beer that you like. You can use one cup of beer. About like that. Put that in there. And you can drink this if you like. And then we're going to take some crushed red pepper. And you need two teaspoons. Heaping teaspoons. About like that. And you're going to put this in the microwave and get it all nice and melted. There we go, guys. I'm going to stir it around, make sure it looks all good and everything's melted. Looks pretty good. And what this is here, this is your steaming liquid. So we're just going to pour this over the crabs like this. Get it all in there. Just like that. So looks about like that, guys. Alright. So now, I'm going to take whatever barbecue rub that you like. Dry rub. This just happens to be the stuff that I have and it tastes pretty good. Just gonna put it all over your crabs, about like that. I like that. Alright, so I'm gonna put some more in here because I have 12 crabs. So I'm gonna put my other five in here. And I'll get them nice and coated. There's a one big one. Look at the size of that crab, guys. That is a nice size blue crab. And now we're just going to coat that about like that, just like I did the other ones. Like that. And there you go, guys. That's what you're looking for. And then you're going to cover it with some tin foil. Cover it real nice. Put it in an oven, a 300 preheated oven, at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. Should come out nice and delicious. All right, guys, it's been 25 minutes. Right. Look at that, y'all! Holy cow! Man, that looks really hot. We're all nicely cooked. Steaming up my GoPro here. Oh yeah, that looks good guys. Look at that. Awesome. So I'm going to let these cool down a little bit. And then we'll start eating some. Alright guys, get my blue crab here. And what we do in our house is we save all the claws for summer. So I'll pull that off, but I'm going to go ahead and eat that. Oh man, that's good. Pull it off with that. Sometimes the meat comes with it. Alrighty, now how I eat my blue crabs is I bend it in half, like that, break it in half like that, and then I take this back knuckle, and pull it out, sometimes it comes off better than others. This crab looks like it went through a molt, so it's kind of empty a little bit, but basically it looks like that. Hmm. Dang, that's good. Holy cow. Just pop it out like that. Yeah, it's real brittle. So yeah, he just went through a molt. Alright, man, that was good. And the base color I do is just break these legs off. A little meat comes out with it. But I like that. Now look at that. That's awesome. And then I just pick through the the body parts here, the little channels. That's basically how you eat a blue crab. 
I mean, a lot of people got a lot of different ways. It is a lot of work. But that right there, the barbecue style blue crabs, is 100% excellent. But you're going to get messy, y'all. So make sure you have lots of paper towels. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sit on the couch and do the closing with y'all. And then we're going to get down and dirty eating some blue crabs. Hey, Jay Rockers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys tried this recipe. They're really good. It's really messy. But man, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, I'm going to have a couple crabs in there that just came off a of molt, so they're not real full. But uh, hey, that's crab, and sometimes you get some that way. But a lot of them are going to be really full and really good. Well, I'm going to go ahead real quick, get with my family. We're going to eat a whole bunch of crabs. But I thank you guys for, for sticking around for this adventure and watching this video with us. And I want to thank each and every one of you all for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. And I appreciate each and every one of you all very, very much. You guys mean a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed, please come on over and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And thumbs up are always appreciated, guys. Every little bit helps out the channel. So thank you guys very much. And until I see, get to see you again soon here on the water, Tight lines, Jody Rockers. Hey, Jody Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jody Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mug. I appreciate you guys very much. Go well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jody Rockers.